I am Prajal Garwal and today we are going to look at this problem maximum diversity of an array. This problem is rated as easy on CodeChef and you require basics of counting to solve this. So guys if you haven't read the problem yet go back and read it and then come back and see the solution. With this let's begin. In this problem we are given an array A of size n. So basically we are given an array A as A1, A2 till A of n. We are also given that the diversity of an array is defined as the number of pairs i, j such that i is less than j and a of i is not equal to a of j. In the question we are also given that we can perform at most k operations. In each operation we can select any integer from this array and we can change its value to 1 to 10 to the power 9. Basically it means that let us say we choose a2 then we can change the value of a2 to any integer in the range 1 to 10 to the power 9. We can do this at most k times. Now we have to perform these operations such that we try to maximize the diversity of this array a. Finally we have to print the maximum diversity. The constraints given to us are, we are given test cases from 1 to 20. The number of operations can be from 0 to 10 to the power 9. The number of elements can be from 2 to 10 to the power 5. And the range of numbers can be from 1 to 10 to the power 9. Moving on through test cases. In the first test case, we are given a of i as 1, 2 and 3. Here i represents the index. So we can calculate the diversity by calculating the number of pairs such that i is less than j and a of i is not equal to a of j. So if we look at this array, we can form the pair as 0, 1 because 0 is less than 1 and a of i, a of 0 is not equal to a of 1. Similarly, we can write 0, 2 and 1, 2. Since the this is actually the maximum diversity that we can get, hence our answer is 3. In the second test case, we have a of i as 1, 1, 2, 2. Here i is the index 0, 1, 2, 3. So we can calculate the diversity as 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 2 and 1, 3. We cannot write 0, 1 or 2, 3 because these elements are same. So current the diversity is 4. We are allowed to do two operations. So now in this array let us change this to, to let us say any integer uh, let us say we change it to 10. So the new array will be 1, 1, 2 and 10. Now if we calculate the diversity of this array, this new array, we will get 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3 and then we add one more pair as 2, 3. So we will add one more pair as 2, 3. Now the new diversity is 5. We are allowed one more operation. So let us say that we change this one to 100. So now we will get 100, 2 and 10. If we calculate the diversity of this new array, we will calculate it as 0, 1. So this is not present, hence we will add 0, 1. Then we have 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3. The final diversity is 6 as we have 6 distinct pairs. So the output is 6. So guys try to do the same thing for the last test case yourself. Moving on to the solution. In this problem we are given an array A of size n. Now we need to maximize this diversity of this array using the operation that we can choose any element and replace it by any element from 1 to 10 to 9. Now let us look at the maximum diversity that we can get. To get the maximum diversity, let us say that we have all distinct elements. That means all AIs are distinct. Now if all AIs are distinct, one of the conditions that AI not equal to AJ is always true. So the answer is basically the number of pairs i, j such that i is less than j. And the other condition is always true, so we do not need to consider this. 
we know that this represents the ordered pair so the answer is 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 till 1 comma n and then we will start with 2 comma 3 and so on till n comma n minus 1 the answer is n star n minus 1 by 2 this can be arrived using the counting principle now let us look at another important observation that will help us figure out the solution. We know that the maximum diversity can be n into n minus 1 by 2. So let us say that we have an array A as A1, A2 till A of n. And in this array we have d distinct elements. So we can create a frequency table as A1 occurs C1 times, A2 occurs C2 times, till a of d occurs c of d times we have d distinct elements hence a1 a2 and ad represents our distinct elements now let us say that we have indexes i1 i2 till i of c1 these indexes represent the value a1 and are sorted in increasing order now let us say that we initialize a of i c1 to a of d plus 1 this is the new distinct element that we add. Basically, this means that we are performing one operation and we change the last occurrence of a1 to ad plus 1. Now, the new number of pairs that we will add are i1, ic1, i2, ic1. Similarly, till ic1 minus 1, ic1. Basically, we will add c1 minus 1 pair to our answer. So the maximum diversity will increase by C1-1. This observation will basically help us figure out which of these AIs we should choose such that we maximize our diversity. For example, to maximize our diversity, we should choose whose frequency is maximum so that we get the maximum contribution to our answer. Moving on to the implementation, we will start by calculating the initial diversity of the array A. Now we will create a multi set of frequencies. Let us say we have d distinct elements, hence we will have d distinct frequencies. Now we will do the following after, until k is greater than 0 or the multi set has some element present in it. We will pop out the maximum element, which is c of d, and then we will add c of d minus 1 to our answer. This is because we basically perform the operation on the element whose frequency is c of d and the number of pairs that we will add to our answer is c of d minus 1. We will decrease k by 1 and we will append c of d minus 1 back to our answer if it is greater than 0. Then we append c of d back minus 1 to our initial set again. We use this set because we always need to pop out the element with the maximum frequency so that the contribution is maximum. Finally, we will return this variable answer which represents our maximum diversity. Now let us look at how to calculate the initial diversity. Given an array A, let us say that A1 is present C1 times. A2 is present C2 times and similarly AD is present C of D times. Now one thing to note is that let us say that we have one occurrence of A1. Now if we add one more occurrence of A1, our answer will reduce by 1. Now if we add one more occurrence of A1, our answer will reduce by 2 because the pairs 0, 2 and 1, 2 will no longer be a part of the solution. In this case, 0, 1 will not be a part of the solution. So it reduces by 1. In this, like, like this, we can see that if we have C1 occurrences of A1, then in overall, our answer actually reduces by C1, C1 minus 1 by 2. So now, to calculate the initial diversity, we initialize our answer by n star n minus 1 by 2. This is basically the maximum diversity. 
and then we will iterate over all these frequencies and subtract ci ci minus 1 by 2 so this basically represents our initial diversity moving on to the time complexity so our solution basically rests down to three main points the first is to create the multi set of frequency which is c1 c2 till c of d now we will calculate the initial diversity then we will iterate while k is greater than 0 which means that we have some operations to perform and the size of this set is also greater than 0 in this case we will pop out the largest element let let us call it c and we will add the contribution which is equal to c minus 1 to our answer now if c minus 1 is greater than 1 that means that there is still some occurrence that is reducing our overall diversity in this case we will append c back to the st finally we have our answer and we will return our answer now the other thing to note is that if k is greater than n that means that the number of operations that we can perform are greater than the number of elements in this case we can replace all the elements from 1 to n hence we will get all distinct elements so in this case our answer is directly n star n minus 1 by 2 we can use this to bound k as order of n because if it is more than this then we have our answer directly which is n n minus 1 by 2 hence our time complexity is order of n log n why because the summation of all ci is n and we are using a multi set so we have a factor of log n the space complexity is order of n why because we need to store the initial array a moving on to the code so i have already processed the input n k and vector arr that will store the initial elements given to us we have this variable answer to store the maximum diversity now if k is greater than or equal to n then we can directly write answer as n n minus 1 by 2 we output the answer and we return to create the frequency multiset we use a map first to calculate the frequency of each element we calculate the frequency of each element then we calculate our initial diversity so we start with n n minus 1 by 2 and we subtract the contribution of each frequency from answer now we create the multiset frequency using by iterating over the map and inserting the frequency of each element into this multiset st now we will perform the operations we will do this until either operation is greater than zero and the there are some elements left in the set st we pop out the maximum element we say that if the maximum element is greater than one which means that there are some element there are repetitions because of which our maximum diversity is less we will do one operation so we subtract k by one and add val minus one to our answer now if val is greater than one that means we still have some repetitions we insert val back to st finally we will output our answer which is our maximum diversity so guys this is pretty much the whole code try to code it yourself and if you face an issue then come back and see it again for your implementation do take care how you calculate the initial diversity because this is the tricky part also pay attention that i have included all the values that are greater than one you can include all the values that are equal to one also but there will be some necessary conditions that you need to add such that your final answer is correct so guys i hope you understood the problem clearly if you have any questions drop a comment in the comment section like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from code chef thank you and goodbye